Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Caitlin Francis. Connecticut schools are officially closed for the remainder of the academic school year. Governor Ned Lamont tweeted this announcement this morning saying, breaking due to the ongoing pandemic, in-person classes at K through 12 schools in Connecticut will remain canceled for the rest of the academic year. Given the circumstances, this is the best course of action for the safety of students, educators and staff. Connecticut schools have been closed since March 17th. Distance learning will continue for the remainder of the school year. Governor Lamont, along with state education officials, will talk more in depth about schools during a 4 p.m. news conference. We'll bring that to you live right here on Channel 3. Now to a three cares event. We're helping to hand out tens of thousands of free face masks. Masks for Connecticut ran today from 7 a.m. till 1 p.m. at Science Park in New Haven. Thousands of cars drove through to get those free masks. At least 50,000 masks were handed out today. In addition to Channel 3, the events being put on by the Jewish Federation of Greater New Haven, Yale University, and 99.1 WPLR. All right, and weather-wise, on this Tuesday across Connecticut, we'll see plenty of sunshine. It is going to be breezy with temperatures topping out between 55 and 60, about 10 degrees below average. As we look at future casts, will remain clear this evening. And overnight, we'll see a general increase in cloud cover. We'll start our Wednesday dry with a mix of sun and clouds. But by tomorrow, late afternoon and through the evening hours, we do expect some uh, at least scattered showers to develop as a storm system passes by to our south and offshore. So some of those showers linger tomorrow night into early Thursday morning, some partial clearing by Thursday afternoon. Then another storm system moves in um, on Friday. That brings some rain by late in the day that could uh, end on Saturday across the state with scattered rain or snow showers. Still five days out, so things could certainly change by then. But Saturday, regardless, is looking much cooler with highs only in the mid and upper 40s. The wind will make it feel even chillier. Sunday, Mother's Day looking bright and dry. Still cool, though, a little bit milder than Saturday with highs in the mid 50s. That's the latest early warning subject forecast. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.